you know, I couldn't decide what map to stream today. And I was just, just like, you know what? Shadow, do you think I can come up with a stream idea? And she said, yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> I just came up with that in the last, like, two minutes. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, if you caught Friday's stream, boo. <laughs> if you caught Friday's stream, basically what we did was we took out the current in-game weapons that sort of mirror the ones that are coming out in the high caliber pack. So we have the 300, we have the 4570, the 243 because of the single shot pistol thing, and the 10 gauge. And we're gonna run around Yukon because it just seems like a fun map to use this loadout on. <laughs> That's amazing. I saw your reaction there too, Pizza. Uh, <laughs> take the uh, yeah, she could take the internet out again if she really didn't like that. Been watching for over three years. First time catching a live stream. Well, welcome, money man. Glad you can make it. So we start for the 300 blackout versus black bear. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think that's gonna be one of the first things we do. Bear or moose, whichever. But I want to just. In early access, test the sort of grinding capabilities of 300, but based on what we saw on stream from Beard, it's gonna be pretty good. What's up, Calvin? Hope you're having a fantastic Monday. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm having a pretty good day. I, I got up pretty early, which you'll hear me say that almost anytime that I'm having a really good Monday on stream. It's like, yeah, I got up early, because when I sleep in, it's just too rushed. Anyway, I recorded a classic video for tomorrow. Really happy with that. Shot a, a pretty darn Big Mail, New Lodge Edition. If you're really desperate to find out what that is, you can see it in my gallery, obviously. Caribou are such cool looking lads. Heard a wolf. I really, I do think they need to redo the antlers. Honestly, I'd be cool with an actual model redo too, but they are pretty impressive out there, especially when you find like a decent one. Speaking of impressive, hold up. 4570, not too impressive there. Got my first super rare piebald fallow. Did you post that in Discord maybe today? I saw a piebald diamond fallow somewhere in Discord. Just not sure if that was yours or not. Hope you get an albino and grizzly. That is kind of why we're starting up here. Grizzlies and wolves. That's, you know, I've done a bunch of Yukon multiplayer videos over the course of the last, I mean, forever. But I think wolves have been broken in multiplayer for at least a year, maybe two. We never really get to actually hunt aggressive wolves. So I figured, you know, we're bringing this loadout out. We're going to sort of use the uh, current calibers for upcoming weapons. See if we can get some wolves to attack, too. Favorite animal to hunt. Funny enough, I'm almost never on this map when the question's asked. I really love aggressive gray wolves. Trying to navigate it, and this will be fun, too, because be the 4570. It's only got the three round capacity. If you get a bunch, like eight, ten wolves to attack, and you've got three rounds, it's just really fun to try to, to go through that. What's up, Cell Shop? Boo, where's Classic? It's tomorrow's video, don't you worry. I don't have no number one leaderboard animal in there, but it made my trophy lodge anyway, which at least means something at this stage. Not mine, didn't post it? Gotcha. Hey, JTAC. Did they say anything about them... Oh, fixing the wolves in the update? Not that I heard of. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? I guess it's an older map, but just kind of the mere fact that it hasn't been addressed. I don't know how long it's been, but a long time. Wolves just don't work in multiplayer unless you're the host or if you get host. Been grinding classic? I've really been getting back into it. It's this time of year. It's the case every time. Hunting season's over. January, like there's still like the annual rabbit hunt we do with Aaron and Beagle. Um, holiday travels and all that. Get to about February and then there's a month of like... Holy free time. And then about March, I start to get really into classic and stuff again. So I've, I've been trying to play when I edit. The problem is if my editing software crashes, which is a pretty frequent occurrence, it kills my classic audio, which is kind of a problem because I need to be able to hear things coming into the stand and stuff. By the way, even like the, the streams, the videos, we've been killing big males all over the place. I don't know if I said hi to you, Bree. I saw you were in here first thing though. Something to the effect of, finally, I needed something to watch. Uh, how can I get diamonds fast? If all you want is diamonds and you don't care what they are, Quattro Kalina Cybex. I don't know their drink time anymore. 11 to 14, maybe? You go to all the mountains, specifically, like, around... Or, sorry, the lakes around the mountains, you'll you'll find plenty. 
Fiance and I just moved into a new apartment after four years in the same place. Nice. As uh, unfun as moving and packing and unpacking is, the excitement around that, that's probably why people do it. Because it really does suck to move, but it's so exciting at the same time. What's up, Mr. Biffin? Anyway, man, congrats. Been sick since last Monday. Oh, goodness. Still sick, I, I take it, the way, you, the way you said that? Have you noticed the newest map of the Hunter having more rare animals, albino slash melanistic? Or is that just something I've experienced? I mean, I've had... I guess just two. I think I've had an albino whitetail and a melanistic fallow. I, I think what happens is... You have a brand new map full of... How many animals do you think are on the way to the Hunter map? Those maps are big. It, it's probably a thousand? A thousand new spawns, you're just going to have some rares. Because rares in Way of the Hunter, because of the aging mechanic, they're more likely to pop up than in Call of the Wild or Classic. I think that's pretty clear. So I just think that's what it is. You have that whole fresh spawn of stuff. And then obviously you're shooting a bunch of stuff because you're putting time in. So I don't know if they're more common necessarily, but they could be. How many great ones do you have? We have five. One of each species. Don't forget about the albino chamois. Oh, that's right. I guess I have three. That's kind of sad because I was really excited to get that. I forgot it even existed. What's up, Joe? Weekend was good, man. I did forget. It really bothered me. Um, Friday on stream. I don't remember who it was. It might have been JTAC. Uh, like asked in the chat what my weekend plans were. And I was like, I have a thing I need to do Saturday. And I couldn't remember what it was. And all it actually was was pumping the fuel from our exterior tank to the interior one. And I didn't do that. So that annoyed me. But otherwise, I had a good good weekend. Went and hung out at my parents yesterday for, I don't know, a couple hours. Good times. All the new Titan cards or LTDs? Who are the new Titan cards? Four trips back and forth by myself. And another two or three a day with my dad and my cousin's trucks for two days. Thursday night was up until 3 a.m. packing and moving boxes. That's... I mean, it sounds like you guys probably had more stuff because I lived in a tiny apartment by myself. But that was kind of how my experience was, too. It was just me making trips back and forth and then my dad and I for a day or two. But, yeah, once you're all there, it's like, ah, that was no big deal. Are you using the new weapon pack today? No, this coming weekend is early access. So, basically what I chose to do was to bring all the old weapons that are the calibers or similar to the upcoming one. So we got the 300, 4570. I have the 243 because, like, the 4570 pistol is the same single shot. And 10 gauge. I have slugs in this thing, so we're gonna shoot some bison later. What's up, K Flow? Cooking out yesterday was phenomenal. Nice. They had, uh, those pork loins on sale at a little local grocery store, so I bought a couple of them that we're gonna do tomorrow on the smoker. I'm big excited. I, this is the nerdiest thing ever, but because I woke up earlier today, I had some time after I was done recording Classic, and I just wanted to be outside, so I just took my Switch outside and played Pokemon <laughs> like at 12. Uh, my weekend involved adulting and spending too much money. It's funny how that works. You get to a certain age, and then it's just adulting and spending money. What's going on, Brady? What new map would you like to see in the future of Call of the Wild? Aside from Africa 2.0, because we've basically been told at least that's not the next one, I still think like a true Arctic map, maybe a North American Arctic map, is something that could be really cool. White Rhyme Ridge in Classic, but then Call of the Wilds version of it. I'm just imagining, because here's a couple of things that I think would be really neat. Does this grass do it? I don't know if this specific stuff does. Yeah, it kind of does. See how it, like, lays down when I ran through it? Imagine how they could do that with snow and, like, the effect of it. Like, actual deep snow. And then just the species. Arctic wolves, Arctic fox. I don't know if muskox would work. I think they'd be cool, though. I'd love to see all that. Jivers, thank you for the six months. Welcome back. I don't think that alert's gonna play because YouTube hates returning members, but I don't hate you. Appreciate you, man. Got that new sub badge. Like to see it. Just came to unsubscribe because of the title. You should have heard the, uh... <laughs> the first, my story for why we're on this map in the first couple of minutes. It was far worse than the title. 
How often have you gotten trolled from feral goats? I mean, I I've shot too many feral goats to give you like a definitive answer, but like, if I were to estimate, it's more than half, 60%, 70% trolls. What the North American 29, that's a good, what are we missing? I think tool elk, cow's deer, are uh, slipping my mind. Stone sheep in there, I think they are. Muskox, I don't know if muskox are in, I think they are. None of it, or I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but I know it's the Alaska. It's an island territory, uh, or Northwest Territories map would work with muskox, there you go. Want to be able to hunt polar bears in Call of the Wild. Okay, maybe some of you guys in chat can answer this, because I've actually kind of had this question. Uh, maybe two, two and a half weeks ago, I had a video from Classic where I shot my biggest polar bear ever. That was like the title of the video and stuff. And that video, I think, has more views than anything other than one since I uploaded it. And usually Classic videos do like okay on the channel, but the reason I'm bringing all this up, I'm curious, the way I perceived that video's performance was... Some players who maybe usually don't watch classic videos, who are into Call of the Wild, saw the title and were like, really? Classic has polar bears too? And went and watched it. Like, my perception was... I thought that it was cool that classic also has polar bears. So maybe some of you guys had that, uh... That or a different perspective, but I'm curious if you did. But I think they'd be pretty cool in Call of the Wild. I... I think... You know, aside from the whole... You know, are they endangered or whatever thing? Because I did them in classic and people like to hunt them. It could be pretty neat. None of it is in Alaska. It's right... Oh, what am I thinking of? That I... Uh, I'm confusing it with... And now I can't think of the name of it. The island with Roosevelt Elk. Right above Ontario, 99% islands. The island part I got right. A fog knack is what I'm confusing it with. Uh, found some wolves. Hopefully they go aggressive doing better than me. I had a bunch of them barking, but no aggression yet. When it gets to bison drink time here in, I guess it'd be, what, 45 real minutes? I might fast forward a little bit, but we're going to go through all bison drink uh, zone territories and hopefully we get wolves too. Don't watch the classic videos as much and watch that one for the polar bear? That was kind of the way I at least figured that video ended up doing better. How Polar Bear started out in Classic you weren't a fan of? Yeah, like... I understand why they did it, but it's a hunting game. It's just... Emphasis on game. It's just not... It doesn't make any sense to limit them, basically. Oh, hi. Our caribou are kind of pathetic. And I think because of that, we're going to go try to find some moles instead. Let's do... That'd be feeding right now. Let's just go, like, down here. Because we're going to spend some time here later for bison. I don't want to just hunt around all the same lakes. So we're just going to go north from here. I don't know. I know it's a hockey thing, Danny. I don't know who, who what his name is, but I can hear it in his voice. Just got done with school. What did I miss? Nothing really so far. I killed a couple of caribou. I think our first kill was a gold. Just kind of getting going. Stream is very smoothing for doing my homework. Well, nice. Glad to uh, provide some background. What's going on, Kevin? Am I the only one who thinks the new-ish Red Fox models have two triangular heads? I also think that. It's not an issue with the dark red variant, but the ones that they added more, like, fur to? Orange and... Red? Other one? <laughs> I think red. They're... Yeah, I think they look like a big old triangle. New-ish, though. When did they add those? Maybe... Mississippi? Can't be that long ago. Or, sorry, New England, I mean. Have they fixed the Grey Wolves? In multiplayer, no. They still freeze, but in single player, they work fine. How do you think the new 300 is going to do? Based on what I could tell from Jaxi's stream, I think it's going to be really good. I'm mostly interested, interested to see, like, how good is it for moose grinding and stuff. Because frankly, 
the bolt action 300 for normal haunting purposes I don't think that the AR is going to be better than it per se like for fast follow-up shots sure and that is a viable reason to use it but in most situations I don't think there's gonna be any difference I, I really do think it's gonna be primarily grinding where it matters hey no worries Shio what's up bro don't think I saw what the new 300's capacity it is five rounds there was a lot of concern that it was going to be three rounds because they posted like a little, I guess a teaser image. It wasn't really teaser per se, but anyway, it had the three new guns laying on like a, I don't know, a table or whatever. And there were, I think it was one, uh, one forty-five seventy round, three shotgun round, no, four shotgun rounds and three, um, 300 rounds. And especially because of the 145-70 round, that's a single shot, we knew that. There was concern that they were actually showing us the capacities in that picture, and a lot of people were like, it better not be three. And I won't lie, an AR with three rounds as the capacity would be kind of dumb. Why flee? Come aggressive. At least they're not going to freeze, I guess. Hey, Miro. Do you like fishing in real life? I do indeed. I actually, uh, I was walking Shadow around the yard this morning. We have a creek that runs through our front yard, and just walking past the creek, I was like, hmm... I should go get my fly rod, but I didn't. I haven't seen it yet, JTAC. Uh, do you know if the new 10 gauge has more than 75 meter max range with birdshot? By max range, do you mean max zeroing? I'm pretty confident we saw the zero ranges are the same. Like, uh, well, I have, I have slugs. Hang on. It's 25, 50, um, 75, but just to show it. Is max weight for wolves 80 kilo? It is. What's up, Will? Have you ever played farming sim or games like it? Yeah, there's probably, I don't know, one or a couple of streams of farming sim here on this channel. I don't think I ever did any videos on it. Uh, but then most of my farming sim content has been on Twitch. I would imagine over the years, like I going all the way back to, I think a little bit of farming sim 17. I probably have streamed farming sim for 150 hours or so on Twitch. Like I have actually done a fair few streams of it, but the last time I did, I would say September. Been a while. Oh, it's gonna be too far back. It's such a slow round. Where do you live? Because I'm interested in IRL hunting in different areas. I live in Pennsylvania in the US. The old farm and sim Sunday stream. I talked about it. I don't know if it was maybe on Friday stream or wherever the topic came up. I'd like to do something like that again, but it's such a hard thing to commit to Sunday mornings. It's just, you know, whether it's sleeping in or whether it's having to get Sunday's video ready or whatever, just an early morning stream is a tough thing to just have a commitment to. What do you think the craziest campaign is? What you mean? Is YouTube your full-time job? Yeah, since, um, I can never remember the year. It was either January of 2019 or January of 2018. I think it was probably 18. So it's been a while, but, uh, pretty much dropped out of college. Yeah, it had to have been 18. Anyway, yeah, dropped out of college, uh, decided to give YouTube a try, see what would happen. I said, like, if it didn't go anywhere I think I gave it six months and I said if it wasn't gonna go anywhere I'll go get a job at a gas station or something unfortunately it did go somewhere I was concerned there Ash that it was going to be some kind of broken bone glad that uh, glad that nothing happened what's up John Deere nothing nothing too special so far we're kind of just running around I'm trying to get wolves to attack us but they just don't like me today eventually we'll find some Tips for not getting bored of my fallow grind. Um, well, I will tell you for sure I got bored. I think it is just kind of going to happen. You get to a certain amount of kills. It's just sort of, it's so much rinse and repeat. I just listen to stuff on YouTube. Whatever, whatever kind of stuff I'd be semi-interested in. It was July, right? Was when, or June and July, was when I was doing the grind for mine. So, there was no football content or anything to watch, so I would just find random niche YouTube videos and just hours on end. Got a new cystic black buck. Nice. 
started watching YouTube 1.5 years ago. Well, I appreciate you sticking around for that long, man. Stupid question, but are you and Kyla married or still engaged? Still engaged. We're getting married this December. Is that capture card officially, like, not working, Danny? I know you had, like, the weird sound issue. Doll sheep on Yukon? I just... If only. It would be so dang cool. I should sneak up these things, but that's not the thing I want to do. I want them to be aggressive. I'll watch Fainter and Grind Fallow? What did that guy... Pla Planter? I think I got called Planter in official Discord this past weekend. That was pretty funny. Ooh, hello. But going that way, huh? I shouldn't just track any random max weight. Heh, <laughs> max weight. Uh, max weight bison, but... I, I really don't even know if I've, like, seen them all on this map. Since they got their true racks, I imagine we hunted here, but a lot? Hard to say. Wild to hear this December instead of next December time is a weird way of, like, actually passing. Dude, I, I might have told you this. I think I did. I had a dream within the last, like, two or three weeks that it was just suddenly October and, like, we still hadn't gotten everything. That is a nice one. Uh, we hadn't gotten everything squared away for the wedding plans and it was just like, oh, God, it's two months away. And I feel like that can happen so fast. Like, that can become reality so easily. Cold time to get married? Yeah, especially since it's going to be in Colorado, but... That do be Kyla's dream. I'm trying to... I listen to this guy who does a lot of Skyrim content and uploads all his old Twitch stuff to YouTube. Nice. I... Stuff like that is what I look for. Like, long-form content that I can just put on and listen to for forever. I watched, um, it's Dark Viper AU on YouTube. He does, like, some, actually a lot, or maybe exclusively, GTA 5 content, and he'll, like, speedrun it. I've watched his world record speedrun that's a 10-hour speedrun, like, several times. What's up, Ryder? Do you plan on getting another great one? Uh, whatever the next great one species comes out, I'll, I'll grind for that. There was a, a point within the last, I don't know, eight, nine months... Maybe when I was fallow grinding, so yeah, about, about eight, nine months ago, where I figured, eh, you know, I'm probably going to try to get my great one fallow and just be done, not grind anymore, and I sort of went along with that for a while, and then it was like, eh, you know, maybe I should grind for a bear, and then we got a bear, and then we got our moose, and it's, it's something to do, at least, which is, at least at different points throughout the year. You know, Call of the Wild gets new content every now and then. We've got the new weapons coming. That'll be something to do for a while. But you reach a point, kind of like where we're at right now even, where we've got all the diamonds in the game. I do want a, a gold rare croc or a gold, gold rare gator. That'll be something to still work towards. But there's not a whole lot of stuff to strive for right now. I think that striving for a, the next great one will be at least something. Hoping Roosevelt are the next? Those and Rockies. I shot that Diamond Rocky in the video over the weekend. And I mean, the antlers look good. I still, I, I, uh, uh I'm gonna spoil things. I killed a pretty big Rocky Mountain Elk in the next Classic video. And I still think Classic Elk Racks far outclass Call of the Wild. And I guess my point is, antlers too, but mostly models, whether it's the, the Rockies or the Roosevelt's, they both need a bad. They just don't look right. I almost might think Rockies look worse, which is crazy because they're, what, five years newer? Eh. Four years. What's up, Don? First chat, I've been watching for years. Well, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for being around for so long as well. Big mail. You guys are killing stuff. <laughs> Everything's just kind of not being what we want right now. What? That sounded like, that was that scary. Where are you? It sounds like it's right here. That actually freaked me out. Because it, is that what they're alert about? We'll just climb up that tower. That was creepy. There was a big four back there. I, 
uh, in that herd that we just spotted or earlier? Because I, I know there was that one max weight decimal one, and I tried to go kill it, and it kind of disappeared. Why don't you use herd management? I guess to some degree, like, you know, we were leaving some of our small moose and stuff. We even did that a little bit with Fallow, like if there was a level 2 Fallow. Because we were seeing all over the community that herd management works. There was a... I mean, there was a guy. There was a bunch of people who had half a dozen, maybe a dozen Great One Fallows by the time I got mine. And all I'm saying is that herd management works. So it was like, why am I going to kill small ones if it clearly just makes my life harder? Um, why I don't do, like, the whole exterior zones and stacking and all that... I just don't like playing the game that way. Like, to some degree, I actually do want to hunt. As much as Great One grinding is kind of inherently just dice rolling, I don't, as DD once very eloquently put it, <laughs> I don't like having some big compl complicated formula. I just sort of want to, I guess, shoot things and hope the odds are in my favor. Is Albino Caper Kaylee possible? No. I think it's Leucistic and Pale for the rares. I don't think they have Albino. Okay, there's a Fox. Uh, probably those. Yeah, there's a Mythical. Alright, here's the plan. We're gonna go try to kill the Mythical because the Wolves have just not been cooperating. And if we can do that, maybe the rest of them will go aggressive. What are the odds like a level 5 Goose lands out here? Um... I wanted to try to get the fox, too. Because they're kind of going that direction. Oh, that worked good. That might have worked, had he not moved. Anyway. Leucistic is for sure possible, that's my only super rare. Yeah, I don't think there's Mela or anything like that. I think it's just the two. Not doing herd management puts you at such a disadvantage, sadly. As far as getting great ones and stuff, yeah, it definitely does. That just kind of is what it is. I mean, to some extent at least, herd management doesn't typically get your first great one fast. From what I can tell, it seems like it's once you get your first one, once you've managed your map well, then it's a lot easier to get a bunch. I have no desire to get a bunch, so... It even probably helps me less if I were to use it. Because I only want one. Salamela Squirrel, nice. Uh, is Gray rare for Mouflon? It's like an uncommon, but it's a really good looking uncommon. I want a Gray Diamond, but I really don't have the patience to grind them or really even hunt them that much because they drink at night. So more of a way, the hunter question, what is the chance for two Meldesic Mule Deer males in one herd on the same age cycle? Because I have one and they are both low genetics. I, I mean, I don't think anywhere we know the actual chances of rares spawning or anything. It does seem like that happens a decent bit. Not necessarily on the same age cycle, but herds with multiple rares. That's been a occurrence a lot of people have had. Two showing up at the exact same time. Probably a little more rare. What level moose do I leave for herd management? I So I don't know how this stuff works. To be honest, I'm the wrong person to try to answer this, but I'm going to anyway. I think you want things that are minimum weight estimate, regardless of species. IRL fly fishing, what are your go-to flies for PA? Okay, for dry flies, I almost exclusively use ants. The, I have so much better luck with ants than literally anything else. I don't know if I've caught, on a dry fly, I don't know if I've caught anything other than creek chubs with a fly that's not an ant. Every trout I've caught on a dry fly has been on an ant. Um, I have a bunch of different, I don't even know what some of them are, but um, I have a bunch of random dry flies that I bought in like a kit. I think this, I don't know if his eyes are closed. I guess so, it looks like his eyes are missing. Anyway, they're... I would say they're almost ant variants, but that's my go-to. Haven't even seen a rare with a hunter yet. Did have two five-star bighorn in the same herd. You haven't had a rare yet, huh? Do you, uh, do, would you say you pass a lot of age cycles or do you sort of hunt the entire day through, if that makes sense? 
All right, I'm gonna make a executive decision to make it bison drink time. Are ants your favorite more for bass or other fish? I have not uh, done any bass fishing with a fly rod yet, so anything anything that is in our creek, so whether it's trout or creek chubs, um, I'm trying to think if I no, I didn't have it then. So yeah, it's probably that's probably the only two. Uh, species that what am I even doing? The only two species that I've uh, actually caught with it. I want to do some bass fishing with it, but it's always easier said than done. Like it's like, yeah, I'm gonna bass fish a whole bunch this summer, and then I'm like, well, I gotta have a video done, and then edit the next day's video, or whatever, and that's half my day. So I gotta be done early to be able to go fishing. Got two melamule deer does from the same herd. I don't think I've had two of any rare in the same herd, at least at the same time. I've had, I think, two melanistic mule deer, same as you, two mellow mule deer does, like, produced by the same herd. How come the biggest fish don't fight extremely hard, but the smallest fish does? Okay, at least from my perspective when it comes to trout fishing, because th these are the only ones that I find that with. Smaller trout, like specifically, say, natives or wild trout that have lived in that creek for a couple of years or that body of water for a couple of years, they just have more fight in them. If you catch a stock trout that was put there three weeks ago, I swear, they could be four pounds. It could be huge. That's not huge for some people's trout, but it is for a stocky. Anyway, um, I swear you hook into them things, they're like, oh, it's over. <laughs> They don't even try. But you get like a little fingerling native. You'd think you caught a monster if you didn't know any better. Did I miss anything? How's the hunt going? Uh, nothing special so far. We killed a mythical wolf a minute ago. I can't get any to go aggressive. They're all just running away from me. But we're going to try a little bit of bison hunting. Well, we're supposed to be. It is eight for bison, right? Yeah. We're supposed to be trying bison hunting. I don't really know where they are. Year, but okay but yeah i wanted to uh pretty much inspired by the diamond bison we killed on silverage peaks was that in yesterday's video i wanted to check our single player and we're using the same loadout as friday i think you were in friday's stream just a uh current version of the high caliber pack kind of native brookies fight like they're hop up on mountain dew so i don't know if these are technically natives or not there's i won't give away the exact spot because i really like that spot there's a creek like an hour and a half north of us that runs into the Clarion River. I'll give you that. There's a little like, I don't even know what it's like, an underpass drainage thing. And it that dumps into a little pool. There's some really big, what appear to be natives, but like eight, nine, ten inch native rookies. Like that's a big one. Those are so much fun because they, they fight like the, you know, crazy normal natives that you catch that usually aren't that big and then they're just way heavier that's what they say Danny favorite great one that we have I mean it's probably always going to be the whitetail even though he doesn't have unique fur or you know it, it wasn't something so special about the moose that was the combo I wanted which that left me so speechless like it was really it was really strange how many how many combinations are there? Is it 24 or something? I think it's four racks and six furs, so I think that's 24. Basically, like, sub 5% odds that if I was going to get a great one, it's going to be that combo. So, Or even, there's more combos because you can get half racks. You can get the, like, the big non-tip and the big typical, at least. Like, misma mis mismatched? Wow. Um, so that was that was cool in that sense. But just, the Great One Whitetail was, it was such a sense of shock. I feel like with pretty much every other Great One we have, it was shock and relief, kind of, that it's over. I think I was relieved with the Whitetail, but it, I didn't know if it was going to work. I didn't, I didn't know if I'd ever get one. To a degree now, we kind of understand Great One grinding enough that if you keep on shooting them, one is going to show up. I didn't really have any reason to believe that was the case with the Whitetail. 
like, maybe if I keep shooting them, they're gonna show up, but nobody's... Like, two people had them before me, so we didn't know how it worked. Whoa! Almost shot that one instead. How do you see fur type on tracks? Okay, so that is a skill. Gotta try not to get run over here. Sure. Alright. So if you go into your skills, you need two different things. You need to have... Um, I think it's in track knowledge. You need level three in track knowledge. So read that bottom one. Reveals information about an animal's approximate weight when investigating footprints and fur type when investigating disturbed veg. So you need that and you need top of tier four disturbed vegetation. If you don't have that unlocked, tier three only gives you the weight. What's up, Torfin? Think I know exactly where you're talking? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be terribly surprised because I'll, I'll see what you said. Uh, that actually is not it, but it's not very far away. <laughs> You're a fingerling? Thank you. That's the kindest thing anyone's ever said to me. What's going on, Zygerts? Are you feeling better yet? That new 300 uh, they're going to add is going to be insane. I totally agree. I mean, imagine the situation we just had. Bison charging at us. Not literally charging, but you know. What you could do with a five-round capacity and a semi-auto 300? It's kind of not fair. <laughs> like, just wipe them all out. Maybe I should do that. I don't. I don't know. I hate grinding for stuff. I'd, I'd prefer to just like wander around and try to find him in multiplayer. But I. Right. Anyway, I was gonna say a bison grind. Do we actually have one random level three female wolf go aggressive, and that was it? Should have used the two forty three. 12, 12, double twelve. The perfect wedding date. I always, like, growing up, any sort of date like that, whether it was, I don't know, like, in the, all through the 2000s, you would get, well, up until 2012, you could get 11, 11, 11, 12, 12, 12, all that sort of stuff. I always liked dates like that. It felt like they were significant in some way. Erasmus, thank you for subscribing, by the way. Certainly appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. I play Call of the Wild, but sometimes I like to just hunt and see where the hunt takes you rather than just grind one animal, but do you think Wait the Hunter is a better game for that playstyle? I think Classic is the best game for that playstyle, but if you're on console, uh, obviously Classic PC only. Um, yes and no. Wait the Hunter is not a good wandering game, in all honesty. It's more of, like, you can wander some, but you kind of wander, find your good thing, you know, maybe a... a a rare or something that looks like it's going to be a future five star and then you're kind of just passing time i don't think way the hunters as much as much of an exploration game maybe as i think i would like it to be a big male twack is that what that's supposed to say what is the least recoil gun 22 doesn't count probably the 22 h uh, if that doesn't count probably the 22 250 <laughs> i don't know I'd have to look through them. 22250 probably isn't third. So they're gonna go drink, I guess, up there? Doesn't look like there's anything big, so we'll just sort of leave and go, but that's good to know. Sounds good, JTAC. Appreciate you stopping in, enjoy the weather. Looks like it's going to be cold again by the end of the week. What map should I go into? I think I, I recommend Yukon a lot. Even when I'm not hunting Yukon, but we'll go with Yukon. Why not? More like set up for the pistol with the shotgun between the two of them? Unsure. And I say that because... The performance of the 4570 on that Cape Buffalo, the beer shot at the very end of the stream, it kind of left a lot to be desired. The only thing is, I don't want to judge it too harshly because we also kind of know there's a penetration bug with Cape Buffalo. So until I know for sure if that was the gun or the Cape, I'll I'll reserve my judgment there. If the 4570 is actually good, then it's definitely going to be the the pistol, but. That gave me a little bit of pause. I didn't talk about it in the video because, again, I know there's that penetration bug with the Cape Buffalo. 
and I didn't want to be like, ah, oh, the gun looked like it was bad, but it actually has nothing to do with the gun. What skill points do you have on Ambusher? Uh, if you would like to screenshot it, feel free. Hi from East Kentucky. What's going on, man? I actually don't remember if we're going to be in East or West Kentucky, but next month for a turkey hunt. Your gun looks like it was bad? Oh, I see what you're saying. Shot a silver leucistic male bison and gold melanistic bull moose on Yukon within 20 minutes. Nice. I feel like rare bison are more rare now. Like, I kind of think I used to kill a lot of rare bison. I don't know if it was when they got their true racks or maybe like when Revan Tuli came out, there were some fur type adjustments. I never see them anymore. I have one, and I think it was an initial spawn when we got uh, bison true racks. It was like level two. What's up, Johnny? Uh, thanks for the answer. I have to sleep. Yeah, I, I figured it was late over there. Appreciate you hanging out, man. Hopefully we can catch you in the next one. Or see you in the next one. <laughs> Kylo thinks I should bring that outro back. It just feels so cringe. It was a meme. That was the reason I ever... Like, I always did it because it was a meme. Well, a lot of people didn't know it was a meme, but it was a meme between me and my friends. What's up, Wormy? Driving around away, the hunter. Are you using the, the life hack that I gave you to use the radio? You are a true axe bison? You saying I'm full of wear and tear? <laughs> uh, do you think the new update will reset the maps? I don't. I don't know. Somebody asked me that on Friday. I don't think uh, changing animals class should require a pop reset because there's nothing inherent to that animal. Like, Every bison is class 9, right? So, it's not like they need to reset bison to change them all to be... Not that they're going to change those to class 8. They're obviously staying 9, but you get my point. Um, I doubt they'll need to reset for that. Driven through New Zealand, going around the other maps. Nice. Can you do an impression of a mustier warning call? I, I can do that better than mating call. Feral goats, axes deer, and mule deer need to be class 4. The thing about feral goats, they're one of those weird ones where, like, the models are big and they seem to be pretty resilient, but they only max a 50 kilo. So in theory, class 3 makes sense for them. Mule deer, they shouldn't weigh 210, really, but I, I agree with you there. And what was the other one you said? Axis deer? Yeah. Axis deer... The new models are better. They're still not perfect. Axis deer and whitetail are pretty similarly sized in real life. Axis are usually a little lighter. They have longer legs, but the, like they stand about the same height at the shoulder. It's just those longer legs means a little less... Is torso a word for an animal? So there's a little bit like less center of mass weight. Hey, Stu. Best time shall be had. We're just going around. I used to have a tent down here, but I moved everything for the 15 minutes of moose grinding I did in this map before I switched back to Medved, which was obviously a good choice, but try to get some bison. Is the 7 mil your recommendation for one of the first guns you buy in Call of the Wild? Unless you're going to get a DLC that has any of the free ones, because... Certain ones, actually like the 7 mil or the 338 that you get from the uh, high power pack, was it called? Hunter power pack, it was called. You still have to unlock those ammos. So you can't just buy that pack and then start running around with the 7 mil and 338 for free. I think things like the modern rifles pack, though, 308 ammo, I don't think you need weapon score to unlock. I might be wrong there. But anyway. So long as you're not buying a DLC that gives you a weapon that you can get for free, then yes. What new rack and new fur should they have for the Great One Red Deer? This is a good question, and I actually wish they would, like, redesign the Great One Red Deer some. I remember, um, unnecessary details, but I guess it tells you that I remember it well. I was sitting in a tree stand, it was like, 
I don't know, 9 o'clock? I don't remember the exact date, but some November morning, I was archery hunting. And I'm scrolling through Discord, and I look, and somebody has just found a great one red deer. We didn't know if it was red deer, we knew it was a tail roa species, and it was basically down to red deer fallow, because I think they were on Tay and Hirschfelden is what we were told. Euro rabbits were an option, but that seemed impossible. So, I remember seeing the image that was posted, and it had like the vines and the antlers and stuff, and I thought, that's cool, there's going to be a variant with vi vines and the antlers. No. All the variants had vines and the antlers. That's where I think they went wrong. I think they should have, even if it's the exact same antlers with no vines, do that, and then, I, I mean, I don't know, could you do like a non-typical rack where you've got some tines that are pointing downwards and stuff with a red deer? I don't know red deer well enough to really answer that part. Fur-wise? Look at Ghost and Whale Hunter and look no further. White Red Deer exist. Like, how is that not one of the great one first? Like, I, I guess it's just loosism, but maybe it's a, a slightly more common strain of it or something. That seems like the obvious choice for me. If they redo great one, Red Deer, Kyla, and Mel will have them all in 12 days. Not wrong. Quarto Cordingus, I think DD once called it. <laughs> oh god, who's your pick for the Steelers going forward? Kenny Pickett, Ross, or Justin Fields? If you're saying I have to pick between the three of them, with the current coaching staff, I actually think Russ could kind of succeed. The Steelers and the Seahawks are pretty similarly run organizations and similar like head coaches. So I think that could actually work. If she was I knew she was going to do it. Oh, hey. Uh, you'll probably have to take over for a minute. Somebody's... It's the neighbor coming over here, but... Go ahead. Have fun. How dare the neighbors be neighborly? Hello, everyone. Sorry, that scared me just as much as it scared you guys. It's fine, everything's fine. I wasn't paying attention to what he was doing, so. Hi, Danny. Hi, everyone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You need to close the door and she's loud. Burps. I don't care about them. The sensitivity on this. PC is terrible for me. You're gonna have to speak up. My eardrums are blown. <laughs> you should change the map. What would we put it on? It wouldn't make sense with the title and everything. Oh my goodness, Kyla is taking over. I was gonna stream today too. Maybe this is my sign that I should later. This is how I know I've got crazy dogs. <laughs> She means business when someone visits. Like, she is just like, nope. Who are you, stranger danger? Clearly, you could tell. Stray! Hi, Tuck. Why is Kyla here? Because one of our neighbors decided to show up and Shadow went crazy. So, I have to just run around and act like I'm doing something. Hello? Not even close to me, I don't know why I bothered. You should stream pre-sword hunt. Should I just... I'm not gonna... I was gonna say drink some beer. Sorry. YouTube. PG only. I'm gonna drink water and shoot dinosaurs, right? Changes the loadout to what? There's something here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know you're over there. I'm sorry if I'm loud. I don't know his settings on the mic either. So I don't want to yell at you guys. Eyes wide. My little eyes. Some fat things. Hello. I have returned. Welcome back. I did nothing. Hey, hey, hey. Stop. Shut up. Oh my. She's locked out now. Give him just the bow? Did you mess up my loadout? No. I gotta look at it. I didn't. I'm just checking. Neighbors running for a uh, 
board thingy you need me to sign a thing. Always stream days for such things, isn't it? He's running for a, a re-election on a board. I'm not saying what board, because that could be descriptive. Is your soccer team Liverpool pizza? Get control of your dog? There's there's no getting control of her. She might cry enough because she now can't get in the room to where she can be controlled. Got your dogs going now? Eh, that's what she does best. Who's your favorite YouTuber? I read that as favorite number first. Who is my favorite YouTuber? I mean, seems uh, apt and current to say Paul Harrell, so we'll go with that. Is it normal for my ears to be bleeding? She did this on Friday's stream too, that's the annoying part. But, no, Friday was worse for me. That like blew my eardrums out. She was barking so loud. Flantro gets into politics, 2024, imagine that, yeah. I knew it was the neighbor, but I actually, <laughs> as dumb as this is, I got the neighbors confused, so I thought it was a different neighbor. Last time that said other neighbor came down here, it was hilarious because he rode his zero turn all, this is, I don't know, a quarter mile, oh, yeah. eighth of a mile down the hill all the way to our house. And it was just about the trash people didn't pick up the trash and then like crows and stuff got into it. So I was like, oh, geez, what happened now? It's actually less problematic. Going to continue painting. I hope that Shadow has given you much inspiration. Is Mel here? Did Mel get here when I was being solicited. Your dog is now watching the stream. Nice. Can you shoot ptarmigan on the ground? Uh, I mean, you can, but ptarmigan, pheasant, and both types of quail are the ones that you have to take out of the air to get the metal. So, if you're trying to get the scores and, you know, you want to get a gold or a diamond or whatever, you gotta shoot them out of the air. There is a male. Hello. My friend, she doesn't care about Shadow. He's still just laying across my lap snoring. Well, that does seem to be like a trait of... <laughs> that's French Dol Dolbog? Yeah. French Dolbog, my favorite type of dog. <laughs> Did you hear my suggestion, Mel, for, for a new Great One Red Deer ideas? Many things happened. It's Shadow's fault. Well, actually, it's not Shadow's fault because I was going to have to get up any either way, but... Why am I saying that correctly? What's going on, man? Love your hunting videos? Well, thank you. If by chance you mean real-life hunting videos, I only say that because I've been working on one. There should be another one coming on Meat, uh, Meat Hunters this weekend. I got myself confused. You did not? Um, it won't really surprise you, but... Basically, someone asked, like, what racks and furs do I think they should do? So the fur I thought was really obvious. They should do just... You know, like Ghost, a white red deer, because that's a not a common thing, but there's a lot of them. And then antler-wise, A, give us all the same racks that we currently have without the vines, because it's more variant. Some people are going to want them, some people wouldn't. I kind of prefer that mine didn't have them. And then for maybe some like non-typical tines and stuff, I don't know how much red deer grow with non-typical tines, though. Next classic video tomorrow. Imagine, I just heard Shadow crying. Imagine an IRL stream with a GoPro attached to Shadow? <laughs> Who knows what you would see? Who knows? Nice. No. That's Shadow's voice, by the way. Are missions good, a good money method in Classic? I would say the best money method. Hey. Next Way the Hunter video. I don't know if it's going to be... I, I like Way the Hunter videos as weekend videos because it it kind of gives me more time to work on them, maybe to pass an additional age cycle to help something get up to five stars or whatever. So it, it probably won't be till next weekend, but it'll be Transylvania again for sure. Depends on how... Uh, what? Inspired? Motivated? I am to jump back on that map. Are you a, Are you a Broncos fan other than Steelers? I mean, I guess they wouldn't be, like, necessarily my second favorite team. Kyla hardly roots for the Falcons anymore herself, but usually I root for the Falcons when they're playing because, you know, she's from Georgia. 
I just root for like friends teams, so like Aaron's not in here, but he's a Colts fan. If they're not playing the Steelers, I'll root for the Colts. Bottom boy was in here earlier, Cowboys fan. If they're not playing the Steelers, I'll root for the Cowboys, that kind of thing. Um Danny is a Broncos fan, so I generally root for them to do well, because it's not fun to watch your team suck. <laughs> but you know, just sort of is that way. A closet Packers fan? I was an Aaron Rodgers fan the entire time he was there, other than Super Bowl 45, because they played the Steelers. I, I, I like the Packers. What did K-Flo say? Oh, what if they had a velvet? Oh my god, we need velvet racks in this game generally. Just as a rare. It, it could be some kind of, like, oh hey, this special diamond didn't shed his velvet for some reason. Bengals fan, well, I know they haven't quite climbed all the way to the top of the mountain, but had a good, well, this past season with Bro's injury maybe wasn't as good, but at least they've been as competitive basically as it gets. I'm going to read that even though the alerts are being really slow today. Grandmaster George, thank you for the super chat and super sticker once again. Appreciate the support, hope you're doing well. Oh my god. <laughs> I have located all of the bison. Are there any decent ones? This is what I find so weird. Like, I go into multiplayer, and almost every herd has at least a max estimate 4. And then I have my own map, and I'm lucky if I have, a like, a low estimate 4. Now, could I have come here and already shot one? Maybe. <laughs> Would have been a while ago, but that is a possibility. Kind of looking like if we want one, though, it's going to be a 3. Ooh, we turned into that. I think we got him. So many bison that are mocking the... Mocking. Blocking the bison mob spawner. <laughs> it looks like that's where they all spawn the amount of them over there. Got behind earlier. Did you find the big mail track? I spotted him like a couple seconds later. He was just a max estimate for her. Up to 172 or something, so not even one of those potential diamond fours. Has anybody killed or even just seen posted a level four, like, true axe diamond planes bison? I feel like I have, but now I'm questioning myself. Should also cheer for the Titans? Well, Mike Vrabel was actually drafted by the Steelers. I know he's not the coach anymore, but I actually have along the way rooted for them too. I just like Vrabel's style and stuff. I might root for them slightly less because I kind of think they A, screwed over Vrabel and just B, made a mistake by firing him, but we'll see what happens. Maybe that was the right move. Let's see if we can go up that way. Maybe get some aggressive woos. Your bison males hate you? Apparently, same here. Open that curtain now in case I gotta see anything else happen. Uh, would you think of a Northern Canadian Rockies map, or what would you think of a Northern Canadian Rockies map with Stone Sheep and Mountain Goat? I think that could be, I mean, I want Stone Sheep badly in the game, so give me any excuse for them to be at it, I'd be all for it, but I think that could work good. I don't know enough about, like, what other species would fit well into a map like that, but I'm all for the concept anyway. I just feel convinced there's a bigger one in there somewhere, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, he's right there. Had a level 4 leucistic bison. Fresh spawn. Nice. I think I had a level 2 leucistic as my fresh spawn. Uh, did I go... Where was the... Oh, here they didn't, like, spawn in or something yet. We checked here and there was nothing there. Do you know how many you've shot, Robbie? Having a level 5 troll yet. I think I've had at least 3 trolls and 2 diamonds, so at best 60 40 trolls. Blood in the Crimson Plain area of this map's a chore. It's, it's not. It doesn't stand out super well. If it happens to snow when you're hunting it, it's perfect. This is just sad. I think Kylo went through and shot all my diamond bison in the 3 minutes I was gone. Opinion on a German or Austrian Alps map? Uh, I don't know enough about either region, but I want French Alps 
Isn't that what uh, Valdebois is in Classic? So if it's similar or if it has Alpine Ibex especially, uh, then definitely. Hop on Helldivers for Democracy. Somebody asked me about that in Discord. And I, I don't know. It's just that that game's probably not for me. Uh, that can be a fight for <laughs> some other gamers. We already have a German map? Yeah, but the Alps would be uh, like a completely different terrain and stuff at least. I assume different species too. Six or seven troll planes since direct, but I got a diamond on the first day. Well, at least you got the <laughs> the one to make it. Is it the only diamond you've had? Might have felt that way too, though, up until this weekend. I'm still so perplexed about that. Like, just... I had checked that lake, there was no fives. I don't remember if I shot one there or not. And then go back later and spot, and nearly go walk past a level five just sitting there. Uh, the first, I think, soup next month. What do you think of the New England Mountains map? I placed it in the same category as Mississippi Acres, um, as even Hirschfeld to a degree. Transylvania and Way the Hunter, if you also play that. It's a map that just simply requires more patience. If you're patient with it, and you don't like fast travel every... Because this happens to me, right? I'll be running along, I'm looking for bobcats, or what else do you hunt on that map, really? Uh, whatever you want to go after. Bobcats, coyotes, raccoons, foxes. I'll tend to be like, go check a lake, fast travel. Now go check a lake over here, fast travel. Like, if I can't find something, I just, I start to fast travel too much. If you're impatient with it, you're probably not going to find a lot. But if you just put in the time and just, you know, don't start fast traveling nonstop. You can do pretty well on it, and I've kind of come to appreciate the patience that you need. You just don't like it, Mel, because you don't like Logger's Point. What map am I going to hunt on? Well, I recommended Yukon to someone earlier, so how about... What about... I was going to say Layton, but I feel like that's such a... Since it's a base game choice. What about... How about Tayarilla? Nobody hunts there anymore, I feel like. Uh, Banjos, am I saying that right? Thank you for subscribing. Oh, they spooked at the last second. Whoa. I think that says Flavius. I really can't read those on that tiny little thing, but thank you for subscribing as well. YouTube and their sub alerts do not make life easy. Logger sucks. To be fair, I went there at, to try to prove you wrong. Well, the first time I shot a 216 or something, but the second time didn't go so well. All right, so there's a max weight track. Probably, I'm going to guess they actually drink right in this area and are invisible right now, but let's see what things look like. Should switch to Layton? We'll see. I mean, I, I at least want to get through the, re the rest of Bison drink time here. See if we find anything else. Uh, are we going the wrong way? I think so. I didn't really pay any attention to where it went. Lugger's Point's a classic map. Thoughts on Jason's retirement? So I didn't get to watch the speech or anything. I literally saw it right before I went live, basically. I mean, I think it was inevitable, and I kind of expect him to be... Maybe CBS, maybe Amazon, like... I think he's going to be in a booth, or maybe just, uh, like, the, the pre-game show studio. I think he'll be in one of those next year. He's just He's just naturally good. Remember when you logged on to the Hunter last week? Oh, what, during my stream? <laughs> Timbergold continued to, to be pretty kind to me with uh, antlered creatures today, I must say. Favorite Gunaway the Hunter mines the Remington 700 Long Range. So I also really like that one, like as far as the looks of it and stuff. The thing that annoys me is the Steyr SM12, which they're both 300 wind mags. The Steyr sounds way better. And I really do like a, a, a gun that's got a good, like, solid report. So that's that's one, like, knock on the 700 long range. I do like that new monoblock 270, though. I don't know why, but I just kind of like it. What's up, Bison? 
Did I miss anything? Uh, other than everybody getting spooked by Shadow barking at the neighbor walking over here. Nothing too crazy. We've shot a bunch of stuff. I've been trying to get wolves to go aggressive. We've literally had one female wolf attack us. That has been the extent of our aggression from wolves. Should I kill a piebald white-tailed doe? I don't see why not. That's probably the one that left that track. So, minus the fact that we gotta get all the way around there and claim him. The other thing to pay attention to, since he, oh, I was gonna say since he's gonna go aggressive, maybe I should watch the fact that he didn't. All right, that'll make life easy then. Monoblock 270 for the win. It's just got a nice sound. I, less so in Call of the Wild because like, Spooking animals doesn't matter very much, and like Call of the Wild is more about efficiency, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, you usually want to use the most powerful weapons for the most part, but it, in Classic and Way of the Hunter both, I, I'd sort of like to choose weapons that maybe aren't so overpowered, because then you gotta think about your shot a little bit. Like, okay, I gotta, I gotta line this up, if I miss, it's not gonna kill it, that kind of thing. Uh, Life of Brody, I think I'm reading that correctly, thank you for the super chat. This is Brenton's brother, sadly he passed, I just wanted to say thank you. Well, goodness, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I appreciate you uh, stopping in and, and appreciate the support, but I'm really, really sorry to hear about that. Go to Hirschfelden. Uh, I don't think this loadout would be the best on Hirschfelden. The 300 would work, like with bison and stuff, but... I think we're, we're best suited on a map that's got more big game. That said, we didn't kill a single grizzly bear, and that was a little bit of the idea, but... It's a, is flash shooting? You know, to be honest, I have not messed with... Like, I just zero for the right range. Like, I haven't paid attention to the holdover or anything. Like, I don't use 100 cents that much. When I'm shooting, I try not to anyway. Spartaloo's just a caper Kaylee. There you go. You actually like Hirsch. I do too. It's just, it's not a great streaming map, I don't think. I, I said it earlier with New England. Hirsch, New England, Mississippi. Although, Mississippi can work as a streaming map if you're hunting gators. Um, I'll often hunt for like three hours in multiplayer, and the video's 12 minutes long. Like, there's so much cut out. I think that. Explains why it's not a good streaming map right there. Classic was huge mean to you. Tay have European bison? Are you saying it should or? And oh, oh. when can we expect the shotguns only hunt on Hirsch? That new 10 gauge semi auto could inspire some shotguns only loadouts in general. On her specifically, I wouldn't hold my breath too much for that. It's. I don't generally bring less than ideal loadouts to maps like that. When's the next map expected to release? I, we don't really have a proper expectation. I'm kind of starting to think it might be like in the summer because the way that it used to work, there was always two maps every year. It was about June 20th and about like November 20th. There was no November 20th map this year. So we know there's another map coming and we've been told like there's, well, we know now it's the high caliber pack DLC. But I think Beard even said there's maybe DLCs, like multiple, coming out before the next map. That makes me think, because we haven't heard, we haven't seen a hit about it, we haven't had clues, anything. So that kind of makes me think it's probably not soon. And maybe they're just going to default to the, the summer release time. I imagine there's a reason that they've always released their maps, like June and November. Whether that's like the peak time for people to play the game, whether that's the times where people spend the most money on games, like... I promise there's a bunch of research that goes into the release times. That's why I don't think they'll just release it some random, you know, Tuesday in April. I think it's going to be June now. Expected in May? 
I mean, I'm not going to say that it won't be that because this is the furthest we've strayed from the regular release schedule since literally ever with this game. Uh, I don't know that I would bet on it anyway. Uh, we all know the new map's going to be New England Mountains 2.0, same animals, but with one more duck. It better not be. I will become a full-time classic player. Can finally do an all AR hunt. Ooh, true. Yeah, because what, what did I do on Verhunga that one time? Like, all semi-automatic weapons or something? Because I needed a class 9 and I used the 454 as basically like a double action revolver. That was in the patch notes too, wasn't it? Something about double action revolvers? Or is it speed load? I don't know. I bet I'm going to be in an Asia map next. I don't know enough about like how big of a hunting culture and stuff there is there, but I do know one thing you open this, there is a glaring flaw where there's no map, and that would be right in Asia. All AR hunt would be great. You definitely gotta commit to the bit if you're doing an all AR hunt. Like, it's gotta be if there's three moose all standing together, you gotta try to kill all three, that kind of thing. If you use all ARs and kill one thing at a time, that sort of defeats the purpose, but I think that could be fun. Speed loaders, okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. Would you do a shotgun only on Medved? Medved's a weird one because they kind of made it way better. Like, reindeer drink, whatever it is. Is it 5 to 9 still, or maybe it's 6 till 9? Uh, must deer 8 to 12, moose or 12 to 16. So, it's a pretty, con pretty consistent like flow of different things to hunt for a decent period of time. Medved's a very open map where... You probably want longer range weapons, but I don't know, maybe. One issue you'd run into is if you're hunting musk deer in any uh, serious way, I think you're limited to either 20 gauge slugs, I don't even know if those are class 2, or buckshot, which sucks. There's literally, I've never used buckshot in this game and been impressed. It's just bad. I remember, like, trying to unlock... Maybe just trying to unlock slugs, but ultimately I wanted the shotgun scope. It's a nice one. You can see... That's kind of cool, actually. You can see the uneven horns. No, not what I wanted. See how this horn goes up higher? That's actually neat. I feel like they've always been mirror images of each other. I actually talked about that, I believe... In, did we get to hunt these in some, yeah, there, there was an early access of some kind, I don't remember what they came out with, but I remember they were always a mirror image, and that kind of bugged me. I guess they've either changed it, or maybe it's rare that they're not a mirror image, but that's cool. Any great one buffalo would be great. I see what you did there. Great. Asia map with something I don't know the name of, Marco Polo Rams and... Pamir Ibex? I'm gonna look up look up the Ibex. I'll look up both things actually. Okay, those I know. I've seen those before. They they remind me a lot of Alpine Ibex. And then what did you call that other thing? Mark Markor or something? Oh. I have seen those too. That could be kinda cool actually. Sort of a quattro, but with actual cool goats instead. Sorry, quattro. Best map to play as a beginner. You could... Like, I can make the argument that Hirschfeld or Leighton is the best because the... They're the base game maps, and the storylines are kind of catered to help a beginner along. If you sort of have a little bit of a grasp of the game, species-wise, Teoroa easily is the best because... There's nothing on that map that you can't shoot with the base game weapons. Or, sorry, the starter weapons. And there's so many fallow deer and so many red deer. And, frankly, so many herds of goats and chamois and stuff, too. You can level up really fast. Game starts on Layton for a reason. I do not disagree with anything you are saying right there. I feel like... 
if, uh, I don't know, I was trying to come up with a reason that I would, like, lose my memory of how to play Call of the Wild, if, if I was in some kind of horrific gaming accident, <laughs> um, I would, I think I would want to start over on Layton again, like, I think that's the way to experience the game to start, like, in my opinion, but, again, if all you want to do is level up, Teoro. Eurobice need to be on Quattro. I don't like the terrain on Quattro as far as Bison go, but I would like them to be on another map. You started on Verhunga? Huh. I need Doc telling me how to hunt? There's just not a better warden voice in the game. There simply is not. And also, like, maybe, maybe it's nostalgia, maybe it's, you know, the map was so new that you didn't nitpick things, or you didn't, uh, maybe the information was actually useful. All I'm getting at is, it's been a while since I've done missions in this game and not been horribly annoyed by the warden. <laughs> like, whether, I mean, the parquet lady was pretty bad. Um, Quattro was okay, I guess, but it was a little bit annoying. What was the last one that didn't annoy me? Maybe Verhunga? It's been a while. Worst warden voice? This is probably a little bit of recency bias because I, it's been a while since I've heard them. But the uh, Emerald Coast ones feel so fake and so forced accent-wise to me that I just haven't even done the missions. I, like, I... Maybe other than like hearing the voice and turning it off. I've never actually heard it through my own game I watched Mel's video of the missions and I was like, oh my god, I'm dying of cringe. I'm never doing these missions ever What's up Eli? Do you have any mission animals in your lodge? Uh, I had One of the diamond wild boars I think from Hirschfelding, but I uh, I'm Pretty sure I replaced that. I do have the mocha moose all the wolves I've replaced. I had a multi mount of like the Phantasma, the uh, Sombro, whatever the heck it was. Sombra and the uh, Ogro. But I did replace all those actually with different regular variant diamonds. There's like a common, a gray, and a winter. Never shot Mr. Black, which is a mistake on my part, but I didn't realize that was sort of how the game worked. Um, there's a elk that you can shoot for a mission, a diamond elk, but that was way before trophy lodges existed. I think it's just the mocha moose. Oh, the, the medved bear. I don't have that in there either. Is that a real dog in the background? What do you mean? Oh, you must be way behind. That's gotta be what's going on. It's gonna be funny when you hear me read that in 20 minutes. Okay, 47, 163, I mean that one's basically the same, let's shoot that one. The albino fallow, it was in my lodge for a while, it's not anymore. You know, we've had enough, I guess to call them random spawn rares, that I've taken that one down, but it was, yeah. Reventuli was a solid map? I don't remember the Warden's voice on Reventuli. I think we did the missions, though. Favorite probably so far, but the voice was fake and annoying. That, actually, I remember people saying that. That it was like a, uh, almost, like, insulting level, stereotypical, like, Finnish accent. I believe I remember people telling me that about the missions while I was doing them. The map itself, I'm with you, though. It, it remains one of my favorites that they've ever released. Very few, Bottom Boy. I don't, th I don't know if there'd be any with dialogue. There's a couple on Hirsch. Like, I almost have all the Hirschfeld missions done. That was a series we did forever ago. Like, all the Hirschfeld missions. Um, Layton? I kind of think I did them all. I can't remember. <laughs> Best voice is the, those are some nice tracks. What map was that on again? The Rev guy was weird. 
Take it from an Australian, th those accents, they probably do exist somewhere, but they sound way too stereotypical not to make even me, who lives in Australia, cringe uncontrollably. Yeah, I mean, I don't deny that they sounded like an Australian accent, but it just felt over-the-top fake to me. Want to follow them. Revan 2 is probably the best starter map. Depends. I think it might be the best level 1 map if you're restarting. I, th My opinion, if you're completely new to the game, I think you might struggle to shoot a lot of the birds with a single shot. Nah, no, you don't. What shotgun do you start with? Do you start with a shotgun? You must. It's not a single shot though, it's maybe the, the uh, over-under. The cavern room, perhaps? Uh, like, shoot two coyotes at night with a bow? I have that one done. Some of the missions are legitimately difficult. Yeah, so what happened is, like, over the years when they've changed, um, you know, home ranges and all that kind of stuff, they made some missions really tough to do. I think this is in a video, too. There was a mission somewhere along the line, and the game works so differently now, I don't think you could do this. But there was a mission that required you to shoot an elk in a certain spot, and I just didn't have any elk in that spot. So I went like across the border of that uh, region into another one, and I found a group of elk. And I just, like slowly but surely, I would call, you could call nervous animals back then, that's why this worked. I would call back up 100 meters, call again, and I slowly brought them all the way into the region I needed. I don't know, some of those now, I don't even know if you can do it without like an insane amount of luck. Start with the cavern, but no bird shot. That's right. You start with buckshot. I'd like to see velvet hanging off great one racks. There you go. That could be a good idea. I want a written map with Mel as the warden, and if she doesn't say in it or Chucky Pigs, I'll riot. You have to start the game on a Tuesday. Hated it. Honestly, learning the game without Flinter was tough. But I found a channel I was like, oh, so that's how you play. I mean, I feel like when I... I've told this story before. When I got started, I didn't even really like the game. I thought it was going to be classic with new graphics. That was pretty much what I expected out of Call of the Wild. And it wasn't that. And it didn't work at all like classic. And I just didn't understand like anything. A bunch of my first latent hunts in particular. It was basically like, go to a spot in Balmont where I, I just always find, I probably had a rest zone or something for blacktails there. And I would kill a blacktail buck. I'd be like, okay, I killed one. I need more content for this video. So I'd go and look around, I'd never find anything. And I'd go back to that same spot in Balmont and kill another one. Probably like three or four videos, I kill a buck in the same zone like three times. Found Dee Dee first, then Al Flancho. Did you happen to find the video where Dee Dee and I collabed and I'd screw up that diamond moose that I didn't know was a diamond? Nor did I know I screwed up. I was proud of my silver level 5 moose. <laughs> Took me a second to figure out what Utton was, but I got it. So lost when it first came out? I think from like a intuitive perspective it doesn't just immediately click once you get it it's obviously a really good game or it wouldn't be as popular as it is but it's it doesn't make the most sense what bow do you use in real life <laughs> the dart and dart as zoop says well i've been shooting dart and bows for a couple of years now so i had the um dart and spectra e32 that was the one that I shot my West Virginia buck with. And then actually my brother killed his buck with that same bow last year because I got the um, dart and veracity, the 35. That's The numbers are just axle to axle length. So veracity is just the name of the bow. But it was a red, white, and blue bow that I really liked and still really like. Heading out to start picking up our snow goose spread. 4,000 decoys. If you haven't done it before, do you have to try it? 
uh, hunting them or picking up the decoys? Because I don't think I want to pick up the decoys. That sounds like a lot. I don't know why I fast traveled here. That made no sense. Mississippi had cool missions. Kind of wish they had a unique gator in it. I never did them because a lot of people complained about the missions and the perhaps undertones hunting them. I'm just making sure. <laughs> I, I thought that might have been one of those like those chores that you have to learn to enjoy. I guess. Where would you want to hunt mule deer in real life? I don't have like a particular state or anything that I really have like a dream to hunt them in. I've got preference points in Wyoming, so most likely my first mule deer hunt will be there. Have to try hunting the decoys. I bet I can hit those. Uh, yeah, exactly, Mel. Walk around the hunting property and found a dead A point with a f with five inch bases. Oh no, that sucks. Did you like get a salvage tag or you know a air quotes salvage tag and and bring a bag or did you leave it? Mission to Mississippi are bugged for you. Like I said, I never did them because I didn't feel like doing them and then having people complaining in the chat the entire time. If you go to Wyoming, I have connections in Sheridan. Well, interesting. Some people got weirdly upset about nothing. I, I can't quite put into words like what I think actually happened. Like the reason people were upset. There is a little bit of stereotyping that went on, but I mean, have I just not just talked about the horrible stereotypical Australian accent and stuff on Emerald Coast? Nobody got mad about that. Three hundred in chat. Holy! I don't know why, but <laughs> that reminded me when this map came out. I I might have been the maybe it was like me and Zaggy, maybe Beard. I don't know. There were like two or three streamers that had early access. So obviously we had like a ton of people in chat. I, every stream I did in early access, I did three or four of them. We had a thousand people in here and I'm the 300 part has to do with the gun. The new weapon with Yukon Valley was the 300 canning Magnum. Across those streams, I bet a thousand times, people are asking, what is the cost of the 300? We had a command for Nightbot. It just, it couldn't keep up. Everybody wanted to know about this new 300, what it was going to cost. We, that message came up so many times. The poor bot, like it legit, it couldn't even answer the question fast enough. Don't insult Nightbot, he tries his best. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about it either yesterday or the day before. I don't think Call of the Wild will ever see anything like what we had for Tay Auroa, Tay Auroa release day. And I don't think it was the hype. I mean, the hype for the map was a huge part of it. But I don't think it was the hype for the map as much as it was that it was COVID times. We didn't hit 2,500. I think we hit 2,496 or 2,456. But we basically had 2,500 people in chat. That was insanity. <laughs> I couldn't, I don't even know if I tried to keep up. I was just shooting stuff. The Yellowstone migration near Cody and I don't even know how to pronounce that is really good for mule deer. Can you hunt in that area? I'm assuming that's why you're telling me that, but I just want to make sure. As a Steelers fan yourself, do you want Russ? No. Like... I'd rather a more long-term solution because I think Russ has at best three years on the back end of his prime left. He's he's not athletic enough anymore to get away with some of the stuff he used to when he was young. He has the the arm and stuff still, but the his legs just can't help him get out of situations like he used to. I think he's kind of our current best option, but if there's someone in the draft that they feel like they can get a steal on and like maybe that's the future or whatever, that would be my preference. Hype was real for Tay. Needed you as a mod back then to sling out those 24-hour timeouts? I don't remember. I mean, 
You guys have always been so good at modding. Like, I don't... Almost never do I realize that anything's happening in chat, and then afterwards... <laughs> some or all the mods will be like, Jeez, so bad today. I'm like, really? Because you guys delete the messages before I see them. So I don't, I don't recall that stream actually being bad from a modding perspective, but I'm sure it was chaos. Uh, big fan of the channel. Got my first diamond whitetail today. Nice, man. Which map? Just got here. What have I missed? Nothing special trophy-wise. We've probably killed, who knows, 20 or 30 bison, wolves. Uh, I wanted to get a grizzly or two, but that has not worked out. Just been running along using the calibers of the weapons that are coming out with the high caliber pack this weekend. Or... I should say early access this weekend. They're coming out a week from tomorrow, technically. Fastest mods in the West? No doubt. No doubt. Speaking of Grizzlies, what if we change the time to early morning and run through here? I'm getting bored of there being nothing. Rancho still glitched to level 5 Bighorn, but went out of render distance and disappeared. And now you've been trolled by four of them? Wait, it just... Like, its tracks disappeared, or what? <laughs> if spine shots were still a thing, I'd be the greatest call out hunter ever. I don't think I want spine shots back, per se. But I still... I've been talking about this a decent bit lately. I still kind of think quick kill was good. I kind of think they should bring it back. It was just... It was cool, like... In my opinion, at least. Once you've found... Like, let's say... Uh, I'm trying to think of a guarantee... Oh, the Diamond Bison. They were killed yesterday. It was a guaranteed diamond. Once you've found it, you basically have your diamond. Because it's not terribly hard to shoot a bison in the lungs with a 300 or whatever gun I had. I think that's what it was. With Quick Kill, finding it's half the battle. Now you gotta make... Like, a legit good shot. I just think that was a cool, uh... Aspect, and a cool... Thing that added a degree of, like... Obviously uncertainty and adrenaline, but also... Ah, I thought that was a female. Uh, it just made it, like... There was some intrigue there, like, alright, is this streamer who I'm watching gonna make the shot, or whatever. What's up, ZBG? Best take ever is adding quick kill again? I just think it would be nice. You know. Like, the intensity of stocking up to a level 9k buffalo, because it was different with every species, and it would be again if they were to add quick kill again. I don't even know now. Like, looking at the different weapons and stuff, what could do it. But then... Like, the 470 didn't get enough quick kill on Cape Buffalo, and it hardly penetrated anyway. They kind of were bugged in like they are now. And I'm talking about just trying to get a spine shot. You couldn't get a reliable, consistent spine shot with the 470. The best thing that did it reliably and consistent, consistently, good lord, let me try that again. The best thing that did it reliably and consistently was the crossbow. So you would... Try to get to within 30 meters, because remember the zeroing distances on the crossbow are 10, 30, 50 for meters. You would try to get to 30, or 10 I guess, if you could get that close, and try to shoot them in the spine. The intensity of trying to get that close to stuff, that's not a thing anymore. You shoot them in 150 meters, or 75, or whatever you want to do. Like, you can if you want to use the bow, but it's not a requirement. Broncos just released Russ. Yeah, I mean, uh... Free agency's a week from today, so... It had to... Had to happen. Consecutive Harvest was super dumb. Yeah, I get, I mean, I think Consecutive Harvest, like, the reason behind adding it was the same as Quick Kill, like, the ethics thing. However, it probably doesn't suit for a video game anyway, and it also just kind of had a tendency to break. What's that, Santiago? I'm missing something there. I don't know how or why, but I'm insane to getting hard shots on grizzlies. I feel like I used an how to do that. I've 
Probably couldn't do it now. <laughs> As a Broncos fan, we would trade him for free. The biggest issue was you would need to do more than that. He was never going to take less with his contract. So you'd actually have to trade him and pay the person to take him off your hands. Now you're just going to pay Russ whatever guaranteed money he was owed. And he'll sign as a free agent somewhere. Hated Consec, I was still trying to do it when they stopped it. It was, yeah, I mean, it never made any sense, really. You know, I just dropped my first ever, I mean, I, let's say level 5 albino moose. Made the shot. Celebration. Okay, now I must go kill a random wild boar just to make sure my consecutive harvest is okay. Like, what? Anybody that go back, goes back and watches that now is probably like, what is this idiot doing? Like, go claim the super rare. <laughs> you had to be careful back then. When classic video tomorrow. Uh, pretty fun timber gold trails hunt. There's a lot of big antler in there and one especially big antler that goes to the trophy lodge. I don't mind the way things are now because I hold myself to an ethical standard. There's like, you know, some videos I try to, you know, make a point and try to get heart shots or just any sort of different thing to switch it up. I, I don't mind a game sort of allowing people to play however they want, meaning like you can do that. Somebody who wants to just blast everything can play that way and you both can have fun. I personally think diamonds were cooler and more special when quick killing system. A 401 Rocky Mountain Elk? No, but you're close, and I'm wondering how you came to 401. <laughs> big males and big racks, what else is new? Eh, well. Gotta get the views right. Lost my only ever super rare because on consecutive harvest, a level 3 albino whitetail, but I think that was before trophy rooms. I never lost a super rare to it, but I lost quite a few, you know, quality diamonds and stuff. My Could have had my first diamond if, if consec didn't drop. Could have been a moose instead of a mustard. How different would the channel and stuff have been if my first diamond was a moose instead of a mustard? Would it have been any different? I feel like there was a musk deer like association that we had for forever. I hear those get views too, Mel. I wish Way the Hunter would have, would have a scoring system like Classic. Yeah, standardized scoring systems suck. They make the games, I think, less replayable. Because what you get... Goodness. What? Hi. What you get is a uh, arbitrary number that the developers or whoever has set as like the, you know, this is the cutoff for five star. This is cutoff for diamonds like in, in Call of the Wild. Classic's like, yep, they get to a certain point, but basically the community or the individual decides what's big. So to, you know, somebody that's fairly new to the game, a 160 whitetail might be insane. I've shot 5,500 whitetail, and I'm probably not even going to take a photo of a 160, but... That number 160, for one, it's an actual... Like that's a Boone and Crockett score. You kill a 160 buck in real life, that's something special. So there's... Somebody who hunts in real life understands that, too. And then, too, it's just like... Who says that 175 is the number you got to shoot for? Whatever your biggest one is, that's your biggest one. You should be proud of it. I forget, do I just call you North Carolina? I feel like saying N Carolina would be weird. What's going on, man? Oh, hey, a caribou. Why I love classic? What was that sound shadow? I just gave her a treat, so she kind of oh. scarfed it down like her life depended on it. Are you going to try and do classic lodge tours anytime soon? Anytime soon is probably kind of uh, nondescript. But what I'll say is, I do want to have like a Texas Lodge tour fairly soon. 
I'd like to at least have every spot filled though. Like I've still got a bunch of waterfowl plaques and stuff that I haven't filled. What I need to do uh, is try to maybe, cause I just, waterfowl content's not the most in interesting to watch. People don't really like tree stand videos where I just sit in a stand and kill stuff. And like sitting in one place isn't just the best for videos. So my thought is if I could get some more skulls, whether it's puma, wolves, boar, the skulls that sit on the tables, um, I could take down some of the rabbits or sorry, some of the birds I have on the small round platforms, they call them, and then put those on the bird plaques. And that would probably be the easiest way. Cause I got like, I don't know, five or six bird plaques and some skull ones that aren't filled. It would just annoy me to do a lodge tour and not have at least every cabin and stuff filled. Cabin? Plaque? Platform? I don't know why I just said cabin. Can just say Carolina? Gotcha. Buddy shot a 155 whitetail in Florida. Do you know the state record offhand? Because I, I totally agree with you. Might as well be a great one down here. Florida's not exactly known for absolute giants. Love waterfowl and classic. I mean, it's by far the best waterfowl hunting in any, at least current hunting game out there. Probably any hunting game ever. Geese, ducks. I don't think any game has ever done it better. It's just not the most watchable thing. One of these days I am going to do a waterfowl hunt because I need to do another one. But it's just, it's hard to, I think it's hard for the average viewer who maybe isn't an ardent waterfowl hunter to get excited about like, I killed three huge geese. I don't even know what that says. So, what's one rare fur type that you think needs to be added to a current species? I don't get why we don't have a rare black bear. I So, I know we're talking about classic and stuff a lot, but there was a really weirdly worded update where they changed like the spawn rates of cinnamon blonde chocolate, I think, uh, black bears. And they made it sound like they changed the models. But anyway, I was hoping maybe they snuck a rare in there. They didn't They didn't even change the models, so I promise they didn't sneak a rare in there. But it just made me think about it again. Like, there are albino or spirit, whatever you want to call them, black bears out there. How do we not have them in either game? Florida Records of 206, but I, I, I guess maybe his was not typical too. I'm surprised Florida actually has a 200. That's cool. Any luck today? Nothing really special. We're just kind of cruising along, going through grizzly territory, checking spots we don't typically check. That is true, Mel. Cinnamon and stuff are rare for black bear. It probably shouldn't be rare. Like, it should probably be... Oh, I don't know. Piebald axis deer. Nah, I was going to say piebald axis deer back in the day, but that's not what I want. Like... Eh, 1 in 50, something like that. It shouldn't be like a legit rare, really. Maybe blonde. We have spirit is a great one. It's uh, it's different than the spirit that I mean. Like typical spirit black bears, I think are all white. But yeah, that that's one of the reasons I actually thought of it again. Like, well, they did that. Why not add a regular spirit? But I guess that'd be a problem. Uh, how come I found, haven't found a melanistic of anything 200 hours in? I don't remember my first melanistic or how many hours I had. I didn't kill a single rare within my first 75 hours. Then I killed like two piebald cow elk and an albino bull elk in the next 25. So I got to like 100 hours and had three rares. Rares and melanistics especially, they are pretty rare. You're not going to run into a lot of them. Melanistic is the most rare. For pretty much anything. I, I think maybe grizzly bears, albino is more rare than melanistic. But for the most part, yeah, it's just, you know. You haven't had that one lucky thing yet. Need a scopes pack badly? Oh, what's going on, Devin? I don't know. I feel like I've seen your logo in here. I don't read names ever. Like, I just see pictures. <laughs> and I did not realize you were in here. But hope you're doing well, man. Um, yeah, like, I want, I want a scopes pack for two reasons. 
One, I want to be able to customize them. Maybe we'd be able to customize these ones. But I do know, of, like, for the weapons, they had to redo some models and stuff to allow us to customize. So if the old ones couldn't be customized and they had a new one that could be, I'd be fine with that. But, like, more zoom, maybe better reticles or something just would be nice. Brown bears have spear for some reason. So the brown bears look like the silver tip, like the old silver tip rare in classic. They used to be so cool. It ruined them. <laughs> the new brown bear models in classic ruined silver tips. I liked those 10 times better than albino brown bears. They looked awesome. I have a video of them. God, I bet you it's six, seven years ago is the last time I killed one, but. Well, killed one that had the old models. Flinter, silver, tip. Uh, seven years ago, there's a video eight years ago with two silver tip brown bears. They just looked cool. No, you're not even coming up here. I'm not giving you the chance to look out the window, Mark. Got to do functions homework? That sounds really fun. If we had a four to eight night vision scope, I think I'd be more comfortable hunting at night. Kyle and I were literally talking about this before the stream. If there are night vision binoculars that zoom to seven, I think they're exact copies of the apex view with the range finding binocular, or the range finding thing, reticle. So I think they zoom to seven. I know the apex view binoculars zoom to seven. A scope that zooms to seven or eight should be perfectly reasonable. Oh, that looked bigger than I thought it was. Never mind. Wait, I thought that looked bigger than it is. English is hard. Yeah, so is holding your breath. Watching in Leighton, Utah. Is there a Leighton in Utah? Oh, is that a Twitch game that you're working on there? Nice. Should I get the Hunter Classic 160 hours in Call of the Wild and 70 away the Hunter? If you have a PC, I I cannot recommend Classic enough. I can tell you this much too. I really don't have any examples of anybody that started in Call of the Wild and then picked up Classic and didn't like it. Even more so than that, didn't get like fall in love addicted to Classic. No. You're gonna bark, I don't want you to bark. Right. But if you bark, you're going back downstairs. Ugh. Need an English command? To what? Clarify that I'm bad at speaking it? Strong PC for, for Classic? Dude, I had a like literally the cheapest laptop you could ever imagine. Like The college I went to provided really cheap laptops for all the students. I would bet they probably paid in the hundreds, like a hundred something bucks per unit. Because I'm sure they bought them in bulk. But a couple hundred dollar laptop can run it, is what I'm saying. Classic is awesome? Absolutely. I know I say this almost every time I join one of your streams, but 13-year-old me meeting you on Classic when you were just starting out, super proud of the success you've gotten, you deserve it all. I know, I think you're like subscriber, what, number 9 or 10? I think you're in the first 10. And it's just always cool to see your name. I appreciate that you haven't changed it because I can remember it. Because a lot of people change their names on YouTube and I'm like, oh my god, you're the same person. I never remember that. But yeah, I, it was a red feather hunt, right? I, I can, I seem to recall specifically being at that tower... So there's that South Lodge, and then there's a tower to the west and a tower to the north. I think I was at or near the tower to the north when, I, in some way, we interacted. I don't know why that's my my uh, memory of that. Did that super chat come through? I think it's just taking forever. Anderson, thank you for the super chat. The alert should come on screen eventually. Watch since around 2019. I've been away from the channel for a couple years. I'm back and got to say the channel looks clean with the new editing. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. It's I, I've definitely slacked with streaming. Like the gra like the little overlay thing graphics that you see on stream. They're new as of maybe New Year's. I just had nothing on screen for forever. Just wanted, I just wanted a little something to snazz it up, but I've been trying to improve editing and just do little things like that. Who is subscriber number one? It might be my brother's account. I don't know. I don't know if he was the first or not. He was one of the first as well. Is the king useful for anything? Not really. You're talking about the 470, right? Not like King Charles. <laughs> is, that even the, is that even the right guy? No. I wanted to see you. Oh, they're all fives. I 
I think it was Spinal Core, but we just killed that with that super fast follow-up. Boy, you got you got enough uh, enough GM there in Classic Rob, and I, I'm gonna be talking about it in tomorrow's video. I killed like a, just some nice mule deer bucks, and I was talking about when I was killing them. Like I'm low on GM, I need them. I'm barely at 10k right now. Yeah, you King Charles, you're the one I mean. I got jealous of Kyla's overlay. Does Kyla have an overlay? I thought she just had the webcam thing and all the fancy alerts. Oh, we actually got a lung. Nice. We even had a liver the first time. That's kind of absurd. That was basically a Texas liver shot. Nearly could have been Texas hard shot if the bullet could have gotten there. Hard to get money in classic. Yeah, if you if you go free to play completely, it really is. My personal recommendation to anybody like getting started in classic or who plays classic and is trying to go free to play, I get if you're free to play by principle, like that's cool. Like don't let me influence what what you do. I don't think it's a bad idea to put like say 20 or 30 dollars into the game if you buy a new game today anywhere that you're gonna play a lot you're probably gonna spend more than that 20 or 30 bucks so the way I look at it you get a couple of items that you spend that money on probably a bow with some collars like collars with the things you're actually gonna hunt a lot and it just makes the experience of playing so much better and the nice thing is you know there's all the different missions and stuff the little bit of money you spend is actually going to help you earn a lot of the in-game earnable currency, too. I'm just going to use the 300. I really wanted a dome shot, but... Oh. I think that'll get something. They should remaster Classic and release it on the PS4. So there's a, like a suggestion thing going on in the official The Hunter Discord right now about the Hunter Classic 2.0. And I was recording Classic, and I saw somebody say something in there today. And I, I was going to respond to it, and then I ended up not saying it because I felt like it was kind of useless information. But anyway, the thing that somebody said was like, I kind of would rather them not release a new game because when something's perfect, you don't mess with it. And I think they had a really good point. Like, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I kind of do think Classic is the perfect hunting game. I, I don't know how much you can improve it, especially if you were to build a new game from scratch. Even if you try to do the exact same mechanics and stuff, some things are going to change. But um, that's, that's actually what I started to type out, was maybe the best situation would be if they could remaster it and release it on console. Because one of the things that hurts it is that it's not available for the millions of console players that are out there. Did they make a CD game of the Hunter Call of the Wild? Yeah. I actually almost bought one on, like, eBay or something. Because I was going to do a series of, like, uh playing the original version of Call of the Wild, pre-True Rex and all that. But I didn't know how to navigate the save files. Because I think it would still... I don't know if it would try to make a new save or what it would do, and I was kind of afraid of losing all my progress, so I didn't do it. If they remaster Classic for PS4, I will play it exclusively. It's just such a darn good game. <laughs> like, it really is. I've got more hours, barely, in Call of the Wild than I do in Classic. And may maybe my opinion would change if I played Classic, you know, the same way I play Call of the Wild, sort of as the main game on the channel and all that. It's just the replayability. It's the random spawns and stuff. Imagine they remaster and it's only available on PS5 and not PS4. I mean, I don't like. I, I also don't think it's ever going to happen, so this is just a fun little exercise. I want to start with that. When it comes to porting games to other consoles and stuff, I don't know how much work, you know, couldn't you just port it to PS4 and then bring that same thing onto PS5? I feel like it could be done that way. We haven't fired this thing yet. Imagine grinding for great ones if it was a real thing, or if it was a thing in real life. Is it not? I've been killing so many deer for years. Set up a dedicated hard drive to install slash save the CD version to? I need to get Psycho Beagle from the Discord to come here and oversee me doing that so I don't ruin everything. You've maybe heard me talk about it. But back in August when Madden 24 came out, 
I wanted to play it. And part of the reason I wanted to play it was so that I could have a background footage thing for the football picks videos that I did on my third little football channel that I basically only made to do the picks this year. But anyway, I installed the game and there was some kind of like setting thing that their anti-cheat wanted you to have on in your BIOS. I forget what it was called. But anyway, I went to go change that thing in my BIOS and it literally like bricked my computer for four days. I had to get a new CPU. Obviously, Psycho Beagle is the one that figured this out and helped me do it. But I had to get a new like bare bones CPU that had integrated graphics so that I could then get the screen back up and change that setting back because it for some reason it killed all my output to my monitors. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I should not be trusted with anything serious. The great one deer spawn yet in real life? Well, I killed my first great one in, in 2021, but I need a second one for the wall. You ought to hear them down there. You think getting a big buck's a great idea, but they just all day. Give me a friend. I'm bored up here. So I gotta kill another big one. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm just gonna have to go kill another giant buck. Still have Madden 18? I didn't play from Madden uh, 16 to 19. I did get 19 because it was on PC. I only played it a little bit. Didn't play 20. Didn't play 21. I think uh, maybe I had 21 for the free weekend or something. Didn't play 22 or 23. And then I got 24 to mess with it this year. I had a good time. Like, I put 400 hours in it. It was fun. I uninstalled at the week after the Super Bowl, and I'm so glad I did because I mostly play Ultimate Team, and these Bo Jackson cards that you can have all in the field at the same time, like there's a quarterback, a running back, a tight end, linebacker, corner, and there's an, I think there's six. It's just absurd. Like, I don't want anything to do with that, so I'm glad I'm not playing. Hey, sounds good, Andy. Appreciate you stopping in. What's your fondest memory from your YouTube career? Like, is it the 200 Whitetail on Classic, the Great One on Stream, Kyla? I mean, obviously, Kyla's the best thing that's happened from the YouTube uh, career. I was thinking about that. I don't even know what specifically made me think of it. But just, it's funny to imagine, like, all the things <laughs> that have happened from YouTube. Fondest memory, like, maybe in a video... Kyla's first deer was pretty cool. I, I know you're talking about more call the wild or whatever, but uh, yeah, the thousand coyotes up there. I'm trying to think of like, I mean, the super rare red deer in classic, the two albino red deer hinds in the same trophy shot. That was cool. It's, there's too many to pick from. How many hours do you have in Call of the Wild? Uh, 6,895. The Heartbreaker Challenge for Valentine's last year was funny. So I, so we did a Pal World stream. Palentine's Day, we called it. Which a lot of people misread as Palestine Day. And we were not trying to get into that. We were just trying to play Pal World on the stream. But um, I was going to do like... I said to Kyla, like, should we record a Valentine's Day video or whatever? And I was going to do some kind of heart shot challenge again, but here's the problem. We did two last year. We did we played uh, Prehistoric Hunt on her channel. That was a dinosaur one. Kyla won that one. We played Call of the Wild on my channel, which was Moose. And I think it came down to the last shot, and I, I happened to win. A lot of people in my comments were like, what are you doing? You should have let Kyla win. And I was like, all right, I guess. So then I thought, maybe I'll let her win this year. And then I was like, well, then what's the point of recording the video? So we just played Power Road instead. <laughs> Favorite great one? It's probably always going to be the Whitetail. It was such an unknown, like... Does grinding work? Should you shoot every deer you see? Is it even feasible to kill enough deer that a great one's going to show up? Like, how rare are they? Everything was so unknown, and then actually getting one, and just catching the reaction live was, was special. Finally got the Lucista Caper Kaylee. Nice. Was it a was it a male? I don't even know if there is female ones. 
think we're going to end up trying to kill one more something, which is hopefully more impressive than that level 3 caribou. Letting someone win is worse than beating them. Treat them with the respect they deserve by trying to win. Yeah, that's... And like I said, like, that's why... <laughs> At that point, should I just not record the video? Kyla's better at this game. She's better at getting great ones than all that. That is for darn sure. If she'd play Classic more, she's better than me at Classic too at finding big meals. I just play Classic more, so I still have a little bit of dignity left there. Still remember the, oh my god, that's, that's what we're after? That's what I said. I remember it. It was so, like... It was sort of validation, I guess, that what we were doing was working. Or could work. It's funny, too, like, looking back at it, because it was so close to going horribly wrong. There was a bug then. If they went... Like, once you spawned that great one in, and you physically came within render of it, you didn't even have to see it. If you were within render of it, and it left your render, it became an overweight level 3. Two different occasions, oh good, two different occasions, it was probably within at least like 50 meters of leaving my render, and I kind of fast traveled ahead of it one time to get to my tent, and then it walked back to the original drink zone and nearly left render again. A male 4.5, oh nice, that's awesome, I'd love a, a big uh, Leucistic Caper Kaylee. Post on the Discord sounds good. Any trophies yet? Literally nothing to speak of. How much longer? I think we're going to kill this caribou and probably wrap it up. It's pretty darn nice out today, so I'm going to try to spend a little bit of the evening outside. I think, unfortunately, we're just having leftovers for dinner, so I'm not going to end up grilling, but still chilling. The two super rares made sense back then, but now that was super lucky. Yeah, nobody... Like, in all honesty, well, I guess I don't know how many bears Mel killed, but she had three super rare bears in a fairly short window of time. That's probably the only thing that's even compared to it that I know of since then. But, yeah, it was just... Jeez, you killed 1,600 Whitetail. Like, of course there's a couple of super rares. Then you have people with, like, literally 50,000. And maybe one super rare. It just... It's all luck-based at the end of the day. Any good kills today? Nothing really special. We didn't have any max levels or anything like that. Got pretty good use out of the 45, 70, and 300. I've been trying to, like... So we did it on Friday's stream. Obviously, we did it today's stream. I've been trying to just... Try to establish a baseline of how good I should expect the 45, 70, and even the 300 and the 10 gauge to perform. So that when we start to test the new weapons here at the end of the week, there's going to be early access. I won't be just... You know, talking blindly. I'll actually have an idea of... Like, hey, here's how good the 4570 lever action does. Let's see if the pistol stands up and stuff like that. Uh, what's the best first DLC? The high caliber packs. Meh. You could make an argument for it. The 300 ammo you still have to unlock. 10 gauge ammo, I don't know. And then... 70 you have to unlock. Yeah, I'd probably say like the modern weapons pack, to be honest. Mag zero with the 4570 right now? That's a good question, actually. For the lever action, it's 150. Put that on screen so we can see it. What's the worst DLC? Well. The uh, Weapon Pack 2, which it didn't have a name, it was just called Weapon Pack 2. It's got the 9.3, which I like. The Mosin and the 45 410 pistol. That's probably the least used weapons now. The dogs, they're not super useful. Are Piebald Great One White Tail real or just hack trophies? There, there's supposed to be a fabled Piebald fur, but it's there's been one or two ever that... Like, let me put it this way. There's been one or two ever that it's like, that definitely... Let me, uh, all but one or two are like, that's definitely hacked. There's one or two where there's the chance it's real, but I don't think they were shot, like, on stream or anything where it can be like, it definitely was real. Anyway. 
I do think that is going to do it for this stream. So, unfortunately, no big mails from Yukon. No Diamond Plains Bison added Lodge or anything like that. But we are going to wrap this one up. As I've been talking about, got a pretty fun classic video coming tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go to Mississippi or something one last time here before the update this week. And then this weekend, early access for, uh, for the High Caliber Pack. But... As always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for dealing with the barking dog. And I will see you in that classic video tomorrow. Bye.